record the movie podcast where Sean and Mampy watch shit, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law. And uh, guess what we saw? Never let go. Never let go. There's a rope. And And you don't want to let go of it. Don't let go of that rope because it's attached to the house and the house is magical. Yes. (laughs) That's the story. Um... Exactly. <laughs> you don't need to tell you the plot after that, because that's pretty much it. That's it, folks. Have a good uh, night. Have good a good to see you. Have a great night. See you. Great crowd. That was a great pod. Yeah. Hey, get- wow. So, wow. you want to get some uh, beers after this? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait till we get to the level where we're doing live pods across the country. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then we'll be like, hey, you want to get some beers after this? <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, with our yeah. fans. <laughs> and then I'll be like, I don't fucking drink. <laughs> Drinking fucking sucks. sucks. Drink. Hey, I'm I'm right there with you. I can have maybe one thing, and the devastation of my body is horrible. I'm like, yeah. I don't want this ever at all. So hey, I'm, I, I'm out the game. Thank you. Yeah. Thank bye. you for doing that. Sorry. Hey. People want, look, I can't give people what they want. Sorry to our sponsors at Bud Light. (laughs) Yeah. This this episode brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light. Um, You know, I don't drink because it makes me feel terrible, but Bud Light, if you do drink, it might make you feel slightly less terrible because there's slightly less calories. Bud Light. Man, the last time I had a Budweiser, I... (laughs) felt so sick to my stomach I, I gradually a headache formed and then i became just nauseous and i was like i felt horrible for hours so i was like i'll never drink this again so this that's episode you- of food court movie <laughs> podcast is brought to you by budweiser <laughs> it may cause you to have a horrible headache and get nauseous and be sick for hours but it is the beer of america and america's choice it's the king is of beer. Wait, is it the king. king of beers? I think so, which is odd because America does not have a king. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Why are we celebrating the monarchy? Think about it, man. Not here. You better take that out of here. Yeah. Now. Take it back to England. Yeah. If Might. You were, <laughs> maybe you should get wiser and get the hell out of my country. <laughs> All right. Speak English. Speak well, English. I, yeah. Budweiser. I am speaking, Budweiser. I am speaking oh. English. Oh, no, oh, but but. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> you fucking foreigner. Get out. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm speaking pretty clear English. The I'm, old English. That's not gonna <laughs> cut it here. I'm gonna we- punch you <laughs> into the fucking sea, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Punched all the way back. I finally made it to America, the land of opportunity. (laughs) (laughs) Bloke puncher in theaters tomorrow. (laughs) This summer. (laughs) This summer. Um, Okay, so we watched Never Let Go. It's not summer anymore. It's fall now. It's officially fall. It is officially fall. Maybe the first fall movie? Yeah, it felt very folly. They've all got layers on. Mm-hmm. Um, s- s- starring Halle Berry as yes. Mama. I wrote these down. Mama. Uh, Percy, this is a really good name, by the way. Percy Daggs the Fourth. Whoa. As Nolan, Ooh. who's got like the kind of pointy hair, mm-hmm. <laughs> and Anthony B. Jenkins as Samuel, who's spoiler alert. There's something interesting about that boy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, spoiler alert. I didn't know that. Did you not know that? I didn't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what did you think about this movie, Bampy? Did you, you know, have thoughts? Yeah. When I saw the trailer, I went, another gimmick movie, yeah. you know, Quiet Place, yeah. Bird Cage, whatever the fuck it was called, Bird Box. <laughs> 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 Sound, you know, all these movies where, oh, you got to do this or the monster's going to get you. It's like, all right, maybe you should Don't forget to hold the rope. Get yeah, Road to Hope. And, you got to hold know, the rope. Go boop. Good. I got the rope. And then you're good. Yep. <laughs> I got the rope. Look, I got it. And it's like a, it's like a <laughs> gag. The guy, <laughs> he pulls up, he has both ropes, 
like mm-hmm. both ends of the rope. Yeah, I got the rope. No, it's supposed to be attached to the. <laughs> that would be a great. <laughs> Snakes. Um, <Exactly>. Yeah, <laughs> I think the movie should have been called Snakes. Uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Halle Berry. Going off. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, no, I, you know, I thought it was okay. Yeah. There were moments I liked and there was a mm-hmm. lot where I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And then I thought it had a really dumb ending. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about no you? spoilers yet. Yeah. But I found it pretty tedious. Mm. Mm-hmm. It seemed like, I mean, you can tell from the trailer roughly what is happening. Yeah. There's there's ropes and they protect you from evil. <laughs> that is the concept. That's it. And um there's kids and they're, you know, they go through the <laughs> woods trying to find food and all of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um but there's a lots there's like one son who is the he's the I don't know, he's trying to get out on his own. He doesn't <laughs> believe what his mom is saying. Nope. And then there's Samuel, who's like the, he's like the good boy. He's a good kid. He's like, you know what? Mom was telling the truth. She's telling the truth to us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, but that's sort of every scene. Yeah, it's very true. Almost all of the scenes are some <laughs> variation of like, we got to get rid of this rope. No, Nolan, <laughs> the rope is real. Oh, and then Halle Bear's like. If you don't do it, you're gonna die. Don't look out. Be careful. Say it. Never let Touch go the, the wood. Say yeah. it. Touch the wood. <laughs> Touch, yeah. the wo- <laughs> Touch the wood. Touch the wood. That's what I um, thought it should have been called. But Touch the wood. <laughs> this summer. <laughs> Touch the, the wood. Wood. <laughs> How Touch much wood would? <laughs> A wood touch, touch, touch. touch. If a wood touch, touch could, could touch, touch wood. wood. If a wood cutch, ooh, could touch wood. How much? Hmm. How much could a touch wood touch hutch? How much? How much would a wood touch hutch? Cutch. Much. Great. We're, we're the only <laughs> podcast willing to ask these questions. I know. Every the other one's, podcast are afraid uh, to. They really are. They're like trying to be so cool and yep. whatever. Mm. And we Ooh. risk mm. not being that. We risk it all. We show our humanity <laughs> to you. Warts and all. Only warts. This is one of only. the few, <laughs> one of the few, show, few shows that is only warts. Um, so this is the this is the the plot of this movie. Mm. Um, They live in a house. It is a magic house that protects you from evil. Mm -hmm. There's, as we discussed, Mama and Nolan and Samuel, and they're the only ones around. And, you know, they're going out every day trying to find food. They find some bugs, maybe a rabbit if they're lucky. Sometimes, you know, maybe like a bird or some shit. And that's their lives. But Mm -hmm. there's evil out there. (laughs) Lurking, <laughs> and the only thing that is protecting from them from it is sort of the electric force of good. Yes, that it goes through these ropes. Mm-hmm. It it is conducted through the ropes. So as long as you're holding the rope, you're protected from evil because mm-hmm. it's like tied around a, a really important piece of wood in the important the foundation. House. And that's that's what it's about. That's the movie. And basically, it's sort of a coming-age story, mm-hmm. a coming-of-age story about Nolan, who's like, uh, you know what, I don't believe you, Mom. <laughs> and um, and Samuel, they're, you know, are they Cain and Abel? No, but maybe. You could, yeah. you could kind of, if you really desperately wanted to try, you could maybe make that comparison. <laughs> yeah, you uh, get vibes of it. Yeah. It's similar. There's, a uh, spoiler alert, violence. <laughs> And, um, and the real problem is they're about to go hungry. Mm-hmm. And once you start to get hungry, you start to really question everything. Yeah. Get a little wild. And that's the spoiler free version of it. But now 
the spoiler alert. It's going weep, weep, weep. We are going to spoil everything from this moment yeah. on. So, yeah, you don't want to listen anymore if you haven't seen it or w- and yeah. want to see it. Um, but honestly, you yeah. could listen to this anyway, and you should. Yeah. We're going to. Yeah. This may be more enjoyable to. than the movie. You don't have to see this movie. It won't be now, as tedious, I don't think. No, no I don't no, no, think. No. I could be wrong. Some people watch this and they think it's it's as bad as eating, you know, bark with syrup on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go see the movie. You'll know what I'm talking about, okay? That is one of the good parts, though. Thank you yeah. for reminding me of that. That's not my favorite part, but there is, they've got a, like a, a little decanter full of sap. Yes. And they're eating... <laughs> They're eating hunks of bark, <laughs> it's wild. and um, and one of the kids is like, "Yeah, put more sap on it," and the other one's like, "Oh yeah, that's gonna make it test- taste less like a tree." <laughs> yeah, that's a really good <laughs> bit. Good bit. <laughs> um, Very good. Now this is neither bad nor good. Maybe it's yes. somewhere in the bad. Okay. But it's weird to me that there's like so much moss and so flora, much. <laughs> and they're not. Can't you eat moss? Right. Ah, uh, yeah. I maybe. Can you? I grass? thought, I mean, they you eat a grass, lot of right? stuff. Grass. Uh, They're like, I, I only want bugs. If we don't find <laughs> yeah. any bugs, I'm not going to eat any flora. Or frogs. They, uh, one boy eats a frog at one point. That's a good bit. Which I was like, wow, that is, I wonder what that's like. Quite a taste. It may, it's very crunchy frog, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the best part of this movie, Never Let Go. Oh, yes. I know what the best part is. What? Is I do. True? I would like to share it with you. I would love to hear it. Um, there, we've already established all the rules by now. They're somewhere in there, having established mm. the rules, and they're going on one of their first food uh, searches. Yes. And um, you know they're out there. Nolan is being he's being rambunctious and maybe dangerous. Very and dangerous. And his and uh, he's like, oh, I see some shit. <laughs> is he does he see food or does he see how does it work i'm trying to remember what scene this is there's a lot of scenes of them going into the woods that's true it's <laughs> so like the I'm first like, big one when they first when monster people are first revealed oh yes he's looking for eggs yes that's tree. what it is he's yes. looking for <laughs> eggs and he sees an egg and he's like oh shit there's an that's egg. the only egg i've seen in a while and i'm gonna get that egg and he's I'm like i'm gonna egg. take off my guy i'm gonna take off my fucking rope Get this rope off me. It's not going to get me. It's like five feet away. And his brother's like, no, don't do it. And uh, they're, you know, they're kind of battling. And then at some point um, later, uh, when they're still pissed off at each other, Mm -hmm. um, we hear Samuel's voice say, she loves me more. (gasps) And Nolan's pissed. He's like, what? You motherfucker! He doesn't exactly say that. But he steps on his rope, and Samuel falls, mm-hmm. and he falls off of the rope. The rope is free, and he's yes. free of the rope. And he's rolling down a hill, and he's scared as hell. <laughs> and uh, Nolan and Samuel start screaming. They're like, oh, mm-hmm. shit. And Halle Berry hears it. She's like, I'm coming. Mom's oh, coming. Oh. And she's running. And then we see a little monster lady. Oh, she's coming. She's got, like, black goo coming out of her mouth. She's got a snake's tongue. <laughs> hey there, kitty. I'm going to kill you, <laughs> little kids. <laughs> Look out for little kids. I'm going to kill I'll you. kill you. <laughs> and I, th- I thought that was one of the more effective yes. scary scenes. Like, Absolutely. it was tense. And, th- and like... The the way they set it up is essentially we can only see the evil things from Halle Berry's perspective. Yeah. Because she's the only one who can see the evil, which is mm. one of the reasons that Nolan is kind of like, well, if there was evil out there, <laughs> why the, why would mom be the only one who can see it? And she's like, that's it what it wants convenient. you to do. Yeah, yeah. it is. That's the toughest thing. I know thing. that sounds convenient, but it, well... <laughs> It's true. It's true. It's actually inconvenient for me because you think yeah, I'm crazy. It's incredibly inconvenient. I see tons of monsters all the all fucking the time. time. It sucks. Yeah. Um, but 
they like are also able to cut from like what they're the children's point of view where they're just scared and they don't know why. Yeah. And like the Halle Berry's point of view where she sees this awful, scary creature yes. with black goo. And I thought that was quite effective. Yeah. And there were like some bits that I didn't entirely understand, but there mm. were, there's like a big weird looking tree. Yes. And they were doing the kind of Vertigo Jaws dolly zoom thing that made it look really weird and interesting. Yeah. Um, and uh, as as you know, I always think there should be more of those things in movies. Yeah. Like I, show a tree and make the tree look interesting. I always appreciate it. Put it in there. You did some uh, some art. Put yeah. some art in there. Artfully thought about. Hey a there, bit. Think about a little art. That like one was that. good. I I was genuinely I went oh when yeah. the creature popped up I was like oh goodness and I was like dang they about to these boys are about to be dead and I also this this was obviously a little early mm. but I kind of was like this maybe this movie's got it I'm that's wrong. what because I thought the beginning was nice I thought it was a nice creepy yeah. like okay it didn't like overstep or anything there's just like a no. creepy dude by the porch I was like that was nice that's like a good little setup and I, uh-huh. I was hopeful and that scene yeah that scene I put in my yeah the in my favorites I was like oh that was really like effective and the boy that you think is like the whole time I thought Nolan was instantly gonna get possessed because he's being an idiot oh uh, he's he was, like taking off his rope and all this shit but he, he gets his idiot. brother <laughs> fucked up i was like that was a nice little switch up and unless yeah. <sighs> you think that he's right which is True. one of the things that the movie plays with <laughs> yeah sort of. it does play with it. it it toys with it it toys what else is, you know, toys. What else is good about this movie Yes, my um In fact, Euro, what's the best part of this movie the best part the b-flam euro of the picture b-flam euro of Never Let Me, Never Let Go, not Never Let Me Go. I think that's a romance movie or something. Never let Me Go. There's some movie called that. I've what gotten was the one that had David Oyelowo. Oli- Oli- don't Let Go. Don't Let Go. Which I, I got very confused looking this up. I was like, what is Wait, it? <laughs> is this yeah, the same? Never and Don't, Never Don't on- Let Go. I got into Letterboxd again, like crazy, yeah. and I was just like going through movies like... Oh, oh, oh. Half the mm-hmm. time I don't have the effort to write anything, I just put the yeah. stars, but sure. uh, I, I looking that up, I think because it was so new, it like couldn't figure out what I was trying to find. I was like, is it don't? Like, what it's, is it? <laughs> uh, forget Never to... Let it also is go. surprisingly a movie that, a uh, movie title that seems like it should have already happened maybe it did yeah probably but it's a good title yeah i thought it was a good title never they do say go. it like they twenty thousand times Jesus where you're like all right Christ, they say it a lot never let go never let go never let go, never let go. <laughs> like all right we get it never all right go. they often look not really into camera but like right past camera they like turn because they they're they're like showing each other's pov yeah <laughs> So they're just like, never let go. Never let go. Never let go. go. All right, we get it. Yeah. Not letting go. (laughs) Like, if that wasn't the title, I don't think I would have been as annoyed, but I was like, yes. Right. (laughs) We get it. Mm -hmm. Jaws, Jaws, Jaws. Like, if they had said that, Jaws (laughs) would have been like, enough. Jaws. (laughs) Jaws. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to get that Jaws. I'm going to get that. (laughs) Scream. Y'all are trying to find the jaws out there. And I'm going to get you that jaws. All I need is, I don't know, two other actors. We'll jaws in the water. <laughs> that meme, that movie. Wow. What a great movie. Anyway. Jaws? Yeah, I love that movie. To it's death. A, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. Um, if you're into that kind of thing. It's a good time. Um, yes, it's amazing. JK. Much better than this. Uh, <laughs> don't spoil it. Hey, yeah, I don't. <laughs> don't spoil it. No, it's full. Um, but <laughs> you should have a Jaws scale at the end of every episode. <laughs> yeah, is so it better than Jaws? To... Is it better than that? Jaws? Is a good no. idea. Let's start nope. that. The Jaws, Jaws scale. scale. <laughs> Ding. The Jaws scale. <laughs> is it better than Jaws? Is it better than Jaws? Man. No. There's gonna nope. be a lot, and even good movies, I'd be like, well, because like better. 
Ooh, that's tough because better is complicated. Did it have mm-hmm. more fun? Because Jaws is a lot of fun and it's well made. It is. Yeah. So how do you how do you pick? This is Maybe. one of the fi- problems I always have with like best of lists in general. Mm. Is like, well, we all know that they're favorite lists. Mm, yes. They're like really they're your favorite. Yeah. And you know, how how there's no way to objectively say what is the best movie or whatever. Exactly, yeah. Other than just, I mean, I guess the way they do it at, like, Sight and Sound or something like that makes the most sense, because you just get, you know, 400 <laughs> people and say, what's your favorite movie? Yeah. <laughs> and you count it up. But even then, when you see the individual list, it's like, oh, you know, I like uh, fucking The Big Sick. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, mm, I did not That's like that insane. movie. There That's is a movie... Insane. I was reminded of this movie because of Letterbox uh, okay. called uh, Don't Think Twice. It was like this improv movie about Ooh. like this improv group and had like uh, Keegan Michael Key and Mike mm. Birbigley and stuff. And mm. it was atrocious. And it won mm. like, I think it got nominated and all this stuff. And I was like, what? This movie is awful. <laughs> like, it, there's nothing going on. And it's one of those Mm-mm. movies where they just improv everything and you're like, Mm. Yikes! This is not a good movie. <laughs> it should it should not be done. Yeah, no. Almost sorry. Almost no can do it. I'm sure someone out there listening to this is like, "That's my favorite movie." It's like Ugh, that movie hey. is horrible. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Hey, yeah, we just. I that's, mean, we, that's <laughs> even Curb. Yes, your enthusiasm, which is one of my favorite shows ever. Mm-hmm. There's basically only one person improvising. It's basically Larry talking the whole time, yeah. and a few other people <laughs> say things. Yes, but it's sort of him being incredibly funny the whole time, and maybe like <laughs> I don't know, one or two other people are funny every once in a while. Exactly. But it's it's sort of just a long monologue, just twelve seasons of a yeah. Monologue. <laughs> Of him complaining about different shit. Which is a great... I mean, I think it's a great medium. I think he, he realized stand-up wasn't his thing. Yeah. Like, wasn't the best way to present what he's doing. And I think yeah. he found it, and that was great. Yeah, he, just, but, he was like, oh, well, what if instead of stand-up, I just uh, talk to Richard Lewis about the same thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, the other day. Because uh, some of us think more visually, you know? And you need to actually be there. Let me see the big vagina. I want to be in it. Um, so in it, in it. <laughs> but, Did okay, you ever my tell favorite me what part. The best part was? No, I, oh, okay. I, I, I. It's a. It's really becoming an issue, but it's not for the duration of the pod. It's mainly uh-huh. when movies don't exactly stay in my brain that I do mm. like to talk about other stuff because <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, my Euro, there we're is sort of a... We're in the doldrums. Yeah, we're in the doldrums. Um, so, Nolan yes. has a very nice horror uh, characterization that works really well in horror movies where he's a sleepwalker. Oh, yes. Especially in a movie about... <laughs> Having to stay connected to a house yes. <laughs> with a rope. <laughs> yeah. So there is a scene where he is outside being being a bad boy again. Oh, it's yes. nighttime. And he wakes up and realizes that he is asleep. He was asleep and he has gone outside without the rope. Completely yes. without the rope. And I was like... But, okay, so the dream, he's out there with the rope... And mm-hmm. the rope gets pulled back into this well. And there's a yeah. fun shot of like, it's like really dark, but there's like a bloody snake man. And I was yeah. like, oh, I was like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> and, I <was> like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was fun. And then he mm-hmm. wakes up and he realizes, oh, no, there's, I'm oh. not in the well, but I am outside. I am outside. And that was a nice bit. I was like, oh, yes, that was fun. I like the. Also, there's a good device, which you were probably just about to mention, of the little <laughs> bell mm-hmm. on his ankle Mm -hmm. so like he he's like in he's in experiences that feel strange and he kind of like checks for his bell because then he can know okay i'm dreaming yeah and i i like that bit as well yeah the bell i just like when they add little things like that like Mm -hmm. oh this kid's in a wheelchair in the movie like things like that where you're like oh this is gonna this adds a complication to the story that i was not expecting yes which is always a bit nice 
I said it's like, a okay. Oh, I said I said it's a very it's nice. A okay. <laughs> uh, you know what else is nice in this movie? What? Oh. Um, I. This is where I said we're gonna spoil it, but this is where it really gets spoiled. Yeah, be careful. This is the first really, really spoiler. Spoil, spoil, spoil. <laughs> um, Samuel, mm-hmm. the other brother, is evil. He's been filled with a snake. Yes. Or something. Something. Right? <laughs> Some kind of snake parasite. Yeah, he's got like Tongue yeah, he's got a snake sickness. <laughs> and um he burns the house down. Yeah. <laughs> and um and then <laughs> earlier Halle Berry's like talking about how we used to take pictures of things and <laughs> yeah. uh, that's how we sometimes you take a picture of a memory. Isn't isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and they've got a Polaroid. And so at the end Samuel's got this Polaroid and he takes like a selfie <laughs> with the burning house. Yeah, I was like, and he's wow. kind of like doing the <laughs> Kubrick evil face. Yes, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he takes a picture, and I just like that. I yeah, that was silly. I like I was that. Fun. Like this, this like kind of beautiful thing that I thought was gonna have like a payoff where it's like sentimental. Mm-hmm. I was just like, no. Oh no, <laughs> I'm evil. I take the devil. Picture. The devil just took a picture of himself. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. kind of fun. It's a little snake monster. Yeah. Took a- in Selfie. general, I thought I thought um, Samuel did a good job turning mm-hmm. uh, evil. Yeah, he and, was a good evil kid. Yeah, because I didn't expect it. Again, like I totally thought Nolan was the one going to yes. the dark side the whole time. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I will say almost every bad thing is his fault in the whole movie. Yes. <laughs> Truly Which made him hard to like. I was like. God, you keep fucking everything up. Like, it's, it's tough. And it's he's exhausting. also really wishy-washy. Mm. Like, sometimes he's like, I'm getting off the rope. I don't need this rope. You're lying. <laughs> and then, like, sometimes in the very next scene, he's tying it around himself. Yeah, you're like, what? With, like, little explanation of why he's back in the rope. Yeah. that uh, I did wonder, because I was like... Once Samuel turned evil, it was like, oh, well, this will be easy. The other kid doesn't even believe it's real. So yeah. just tell him, yeah, I I agree. Let's let's leave. Mm-hmm. Turn him into a snake boy. <laughs> yeah. Snake boy, snake boy. Snake boy, snake boy. I liked, there's a part earlier where Halle Berry's telling the kids about this uh, hiker girl, this little girl. Oh, yeah. And that scene was very good and creepy and, like, really instilled the idea of, like, Oh, is this real? Because yes. she just, this little girl gets trapped and is like screaming for help for days. She was like just hearing for days mm-hmm. and she couldn't trust it because she's like, oh, I think you're the evil. Yeah. Uh, and then she just kept going back and then eventually she's just like bloated and mm. rotting. And I was like, oh, God. Yep. <laughs> I was like, cut back to a skeleton. Yeah, I was like, dang. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That's what got me at the beginning because they show that and then it goes, <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God. That got me. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then um, there's also a similar bit where they bring it back where there's like a little... We have met mm. a, a backpacker. Yes. Who hears Nolan screaming, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to remember which time he's screaming or what <laughs> yeah. he's screaming about this time. But um, the backpacker is there and he's like, hey, just come on. Come with me. I've got a truck. I'll help you. And by this time, we're... Pretty skeptical. Yeah. I feel like we, we as an audience have decided that, in fact, the evil that we thought was real, is, or that we thought might not be real, is, in fact, is real. real. So, we're like, oh, that guy's a devil man or something. <laughs> and, um, and then Samuel shoots him with a arrow, and he, like, dies yes, in the woods. That was And wild. then there's a little girl who comes by later in the evening who... Uh, at the very least, pretends to be his daughter. And um, then she turns out to be evil snake creature? Right? Yes, she is. She is like a... Yeah. (laughs) It's a tricky one. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. Very tricky. I was like... Is there other good stuff? uh, Yes, there is. There is. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) Um, but I did like that part because I like, I mean, I like the scene where Nolan and Samuel are confronted with the hiker guy and like Mm -hmm. trying to decide if it's real or not. Yeah. Um, Nolan's like, don't shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Samuel shoots him with an arrow, which I thought (laughs) was crazy. And then he's just like bleeding out in the forest, calling the police. I was like, spitting blood. But then, I mean, that's never confirmed either. If, (laughs) 
<laughs> I mean, I, think I guess that was a guy. Yeah, because right? the uh, at the end when like all the ambulances and stuff come, I don't know mm-hmm. how quickly they would have gotten out there if they sure. weren't already like. Looking for that, absolutely. But I have no idea. Um, but the little girl being fake makes sense because she probably wouldn't be on that hiking trip with him. Because sure. <laughs> dads knows? go hiking so they can get away from the family. You know, they don't want to bring daddies. The don't want with to see them. mommies. They don't. They don't. Um, but this uh, is an in between. Yes, just sort of a question. Mm-hmm. So there's obviously evil in the woods. By the sure. end, we find out that there is sort of some evil that can either uh, pretend to be your old family members, <laughs> or it can pretend to be whatever the fuck it wants. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they're going back to the city. Is there a bunch of evil in the city? Or yeah. are they just in, like, the evil woods? It's very confusing, because Halle Berry... I don't know. At one point, Nolan traps Halle Berry in a thing after cutting her rope. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I'll prove it. It's not real by trapping you in this room. <laughs> and then she's like, I lied. I lied. I brought it back with me. It, it, I brought the evil, which I, that was interesting, too. I was like, yeah. So how Wait. did that work? It just so it, You're full of evil? It's very vague. Uh, very vague movie. And she, Yeah, and then she, that was very unexpected. She kills herself before the evil part. can touch her. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> damn. Cuts her throat with glass. Yeah, that oh, I did good. not see that coming. Uh, which, mm-hmm. that was a very good twist. Because, you know, I was like, oh, this is her movie. This is whatever. And yeah, I was like, absolutely. nope, it's just these boys. <laughs> these little like, boys. Beautiful little boys. Beautiful. <laughs> but, beautiful. Um, little boys i did like when the ghost mom came back i'm gonna get you a slap on the bottom <laughs> i was like oh god <laughs> it's like this is freaky mm-hmm. freaky mm-hmm. lady um so that i thought was a good moment the nearly killing the dog i was like holy oh. shit they're really about to kill this dog <laughs> that was intense that scene was yeah. really intense it's like oh do you think that she would have done it had the boy not cut the rope absolutely <laughs> yeah Absolutely. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I never uh, know. Who I'd, knows? After, I'd never had to eat wood bark for three weeks. I, I've, yeah, I've never eaten it. Yeah, I wonder um, what it's like. I Didn't no seem opinions. good. Yeah. Tweet at us at Food Court Cast. <laughs> can you eat? I mean, obviously you can eat bark. Yeah. But is it good? Slash, <sighs> can't eat moss? I, see, wouldn't that t- taste like a salad? <laughs> yeah, <I> would <laughs> Kind of moss salad. I wouldn't have. I think the problem is they tried to cook it like bacon and make it crispy. It's like it's yeah. already hard. You should yeah. boil it like pasta. Maybe yeah. they could have made <laughs> wood Let's do pasta. It. Stew yeah, still let it. it. Let it cook for a long time. Yeah. Break down all those whatever the fucks in there. <laughs> yeah, fibers. Is fibers. there anything else good about this movie? Um. Uh, I liked when Nolan was like in the whole, the little, what is it called? The little box that they go down yeah, into. Yeah, it's sort to... of a sensory deprivation tank almost. Yeah. Where you meet that... God. Well, because I thought the movie was tricking us because he goes yes. down in there with the fake mom because at the end, Halle Berry reappears and she's like surrounded by fire. Uh And he tackles her into this hole and is, like, squeezing (laughs) her. And there's a fun little, like, body horror moment where her back, like, rips open and there's, like, a spine. And I was like, ooh, that was nice. Uh, But they tricked me because I thought, because they're in the hole with the door closed and then Halle Berry opens it. And I was like, oh, was this all him imagining what could have gone wrong? And then yeah. I was like, nope, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, she's dead. <laughs> that yeah. all did happen. Um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> um, never mind. Never mind. But yeah, that, that I thought that was kind of, that, that visual was cool, uh, mm-hmm. the back thing. But I agree. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's about it. Okay. Yeah. It's time <laughs> to talk about the low mates. What's the worst parts of this movie? Mampy? I'm going mm-hmm. first. Okay, you go first. And this is this is a low main slash question. Mm. Did it feel to you? Mm. It felt to me slightly uncomfortable the way they were talking 
It yeah. felt like it was like maybe two or three steps away from like <laughs> slave talk from like yeah. sl- slavery movies. I didn't get why they had that. I didn't know if it was like a like trying to make us believe they're in the sixties or, or like were they're outside of time yeah. in some way or something. But I was kind of like, why are they? It felt very weird. Like, this? like mama, mama. Yeah, <laughs> it just like felt. It made me feel weird. I was it, like, it, I don't think I like this. It was odd. Like, I mean, I don't know where they were supposed to be from or anything, but no idea. It felt very maybe. I was like, is she like? Is this like a Louisiana type? Maybe. Like, deep, I mean, maybe I, I can know. give them the benefit of the doubt and yeah, say I, it wasn't like some weird French guy trying <laughs> to understand how black people are. And yeah. Say like, hey, more uh, <laughs> like a slave. Yeah, that's it. It was odd. There was sometimes I was like, whoa, why is she talking like that? <laughs> yes, you boy better get down in there and do like that. that. Yeah, I was like, what? My damn bit down there. It was a little off. Uh, and didn't, yeah, I felt a little, it took me out of it a couple times. I was like, mm-hmm. never let go. <laughs> was like, Why is Don't she? you never let go. Yeah, it was odd. Don't it was a bit what odd. Mama Halle Berry says. And then her mom was very like that too, like, yeah. I want to home now, boy, child. <laughs> I was like, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm, now, y'all. I'm an evil snake lady. I'm an evil snake lady. <laughs> So t- I mean, it's tough to do both at the same time, to it do snake is. lady noises and to do like True. sort of a southern bell, New Orleans <laughs> accent. Uh, yes, I'm a snake lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought for the most part, like that part of it was, I was fine with that. Yeah. Uh, my low main okay. actually has to do with the part that you liked. Uh-oh. Uh, I liked the selfie. I was fine with the selfie. Yeah. But my low main... <laughs> At the end, the boys are flying away into the town, Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. then uh, Sam's like, Samuel's like, she loves me better. Like, lets out that, oh my gosh. (laughs) Either he did say that all along, or it was, I I was thinking it was the evil being like, them, it's me again. Remember me? (laughs) But (laughs) then they cap it off. (laughs) With something that I thought was just so, it was just too silly for me. They cut back to to Samuel's Polaroid sitting out oh. by the bird house. And I was like, oh, God, no. And I thought maybe it was going to show him as <laughs> the creature. Sure. But, which I think would have maybe been better, but still a dumb idea. But, yeah. yeah, they just show him taking the picture, smiling. And, yeah, there's just a little fucking snake hand, like, <laughs> next to him. And I was like, this is so fucking dumb. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it should have been the snake it. guy just like sneaking yeah. in the corner with the uh, <laughs> peace sign. And snake tongue out, yeah. <laughs> he gives him the rabbit ears. And yeah. <laughs> Me and my boy hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I, Hello. Yeah. I couldn't Samuel. take it. I really was my like. My lord, my oh. lord, Mr. Samuel. <laughs> Mr. Samuel. I, I'm a snake. <laughs> I'm an evil snake. A, a fucking snake. Snake. A snake. I'm deep in the south. <laughs> um, yeah, that, yeah, I the, thought that oh. was rotten, pretty rough. <laughs> I just pretty couldn't. Fucking rough. I was like, "Why would you?" Like, nobody looked at that. And went, "This is pretty stupid looking." <laughs> yeah, this looks fucking. Stu- <laughs> this looks really, really stupid. <laughs> and it's not the kind of movie. Like, if there had been a little more kind of over the top energy, yeah, like. It was obviously inspired by Evil Dead, but yeah, it didn't absolutely. have any of like the the kind of camp or goofiness of Evil Dead. So if there had been some, even a tiny bit of that, maybe it would have worked. Yeah. But the fact that it's like very straight faced throughout <sighs> it's and then tough. they show a little <laughs> snake hand on like, the show. What it's the like, hell? Oh my god, guys, come on. It would have been almost more interesting to put like the mom in there with him to like yeah. like trick us again, like Oh, sure. Wait, was she really like something like that rather than just like I just yeah. it was just so dumb looking. I was like, <laughs> I can't handle it. Take a picture right now. Take a picture. And sometimes yeah. I like the snake, and sometimes I hated it. Like I, I went back and forth. I was like, mm, I don't know. About I don't this. know. <laughs> it looks a little dumb sometimes. I didn't love when there were like snake scales floating around, Mm-mm. like after the snake 
I don't yeah. know, gets killed by good <laughs> or something. And yeah. The snake scales are. <sighs> I thought that was and then you're like, so wait, the snake was killed by good, but only that one? Like, there's multiple. There's snakes? lots of snakes. I guess. Snake I don't guys. Know. I don't know. Or maybe Samuel's just permanently evil now because he got the. Evil sure. Demon. He's infected. And, okay. I mean, it's yeah. pretty fair to hate your brother who made your mom kill herself. I mean, yes. I guess you can say no one can make you do that, but pretty much trapped her in a situation where she yeah. had to. You took a woman who was either in- incredibly mentally ill yeah, or uh, knew about evil yes, and could see it. And then you locked her in a room with that evil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was like, well. And the evil's like, literally like, I'm going to make you eat your babies. I was like, oh, God, that's yeah. scary. <laughs> that's freaky. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's really freaky. Okay, this is my maybe my lowest low main, or okay. at least on the same level as my other low main. Um, I didn't think the concept was very good. Yeah. But... It was worse when it turned out to be true. <laughs> yeah. Like, if it was just some crazy lady who was like, you have to hold this rope or the evil will get you. Mm. And that's not true. She's just, like, she's just emotionally disturbed and she's trying to keep them in the house. Yeah. Because she believes that there's monsters out there. But the fact that, like, there is a magic rope and there is magic wood yeah, that, like, they can touch... And there's like a magic box that they can go into to make the evil fl- fly away. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, well, this is, you just, this is stupid. Yeah, we've gone into silly land because this like. very stupid. How would you figure out any of this? It, it's very, I mean, I get the, like the power of like family and tradition and sure. stuff like that. Like I get that, but. It does, like, become kind of silly. <laughs> it's like, uh, I mean... I don't know, man. Did, they, did she, like, run up on the porch and suddenly the evil was outside of her? Like, she... That was her parents' house, and she was out in the city where the evil is. Yeah. And then she came back to the house. Did... Is that what happened? I don't... Yeah, I just... I think I struggled a lot with, like, what the movie was going for, like, trying yeah. to say. And I don't think it really knew what it was doing. No. It was just like, here's some ideas. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, is the evil the city life? Or the... Or is is it good to be back in the woods, you know, finding your own food? Yeah. <laughs> or is it kind of like, well, that's actually pretty stupid to do because you're going to starve. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess I'll, it's maybe... It, not intentionally, but kind of saying all of those things. I, yeah, and like, why was she saying that the world was destroyed? I, it was just, yeah, the w- I, world was not yeah, destroyed. <laughs> not at all. It was fine. I mean, I guess she was just trying to keep them... It's like a, a multiple thing. It's like she's sheltering them too much, but there mm-hmm. also is an evil snake. Creature. Yes. <laughs> it's like, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're yes. like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's Hold really on. an evil snake monster. Yeah. And it really does take on... The uh, bodies, or the, <laughs> I don't know. It it appears at least to one person. Yeah. Why? And also, why can she only? See, it's just like. And then they're able to see it later. Is so yeah. many things. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> if it's yeah, if it's like, I, of course, it made me think of the village, the yes. M Night Shyamalan movie, because it's a very, it's a pretty similar concept. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, you can't go into the woods because that's where the evil is. You just stay here. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> um. And, uh, but the, the village mm-hmm. just goes, oh, this is, we were just lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my brother shot himself in the head and I don't want to live out there in that horrible world where that's yeah. happening anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but in this, it's like, so the, the monster from the village is, it's just, is real. And <laughs> yeah. that's the concept <laughs> of the movie is like the village, but it's real. But it's real. <sighs> yeah, it, it was it just a me. kind of a mess of a movie. Didn't, didn't do it for me. Yeah, I I tried and I I liked elements, but just mm-hmm. overall just didn't quite hit. I was I in back of my head going in, I was like, what if this is some like very well kept secret like Evil Dead spinoff? Yeah, the creatures from the trailer, I was like, oh, this kind of has that similar. vibe. Yeah. And they get yeah, out in the woods and this idea of this evil that you can't see or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, 
that feels very Evil Dead-y, but... Yes. And then it... I don't know. I was like, maybe this is one of the lesser-known demons from the book. That'd be great. <laughs> but... Also, it, yeah. as you said, the, the text is the Evil Dead font. Yeah, very odd. I was like, huh. But it isn't. It is not. It has nothing yeah. to do with it. And um, probably for the best. Yes. After <laughs> what, what happened. After what the movie is. Yeah. I also did... I felt like... Some of the things that are teased mm. don't go anywhere. Like I felt like the dad, yeah, vanishes creature, who is, I don't, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know if he is the evil. I don't know if he is a memory. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Halle Berry is combining her memories and hallucinating him, or yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. But he seems like he's going to be important. I mean, perhaps because he's one of five actors in the movie. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, so you think he must have some importance, but he just kind of shows up and says, hey, you're killing them. They're they're going to starve to death. That's bad. Yeah. And then maybe he comes back a, another time. Yeah. And then he's gone? Yeah, I mean, same I with know. the grandfather one. Like, they start the oh, movie yes. with him. You see him a couple times, and then he's gone. Yeah. It kind of felt like they just forgot or something. Like, mm-hmm. oh, right, we have other creatures, like... And I was hoping for more of her story to come through, and then she's just like, I'm killing myself, and then she dies, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess we're not going to explore that anymore. No. Even though they set up a lot for... It wasn't enough to just be like, I lied! Like, it was like, well, can we get any other information? What do you mean you lied? Yeah, exactly. Which part? <laughs> exactly. Because he obviously didn't lie about some of it, because there is evil. Yeah, it's... That's... It... Right? I... It's so yeah. It's just a vague, vague. There is movie. evil, right? There is evil, and it 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 is inside of Samuel. Yes, he's not insane too. No, he okay is pos- right? was possessed, and maybe <sighs> still is possessed. Maybe still is, but they destroyed the creature, so that makes it very confusing. <laughs> he got a snake on his shoulder, a snake's yeah. hand, snake. <laughs> A snake's hand, but it's like at the time he took it, the ghost was still alive. So maybe <laughs> mm. that's why I'm like, maybe he's just a mean boy now. That's the, the <laughs> yeah, he he's might like, just be a jerk. You. Yeah, she loves me, but... and he's got a scary but, monster voice. Yeah, he. They did good job with the makeup. Did a good job with the makeup, making it yes. look worse and worse. I was like, yes, oh. <laughs> really falling apart. There. And um, yeah, yeah. But we can't only talk about, can we? Well, you earlier said there's, oh, was that what you were hinting at? You were like, there's something special about that boy. Oh, yes. He's, he's evil, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Seems Probably? like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that may be as part of the problem is like, wait, so what? <laughs> what happened to this boy? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I know, but... Not entirely sure. Yeah, that was the kind of general feeling. Like, if you told me Samuel wasn't evil at the end, but he he was, like, possessed at some point, and then Mm -hmm. one wasn't possessed anymore, I'd go, okay. All right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, if the director was like, oh, yeah, and... And that really was... uh, Halle Berry really was alive again? (laughs) And I'd go, okay, I don't know. All right. Yeah. Movie, man. The whole movie was just (laughs) contradicting and, like, confusing. Mm Mm-hmm. But not in like a just like oh this is like a really hard concept to understand. It's like no, this just doesn't actually kind of work altogether. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's too it's way too silly to be that serious. Yeah, like magic rope. If you're gonna pull off magic rope, it has to be in a more fantastical thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> they were obviously because like she she was telling some fairy tales and whatever mm-hmm. and they were obviously trying to compare this to a fairy tale but it doesn't feel at all like a fairy tale. No, <laughs> it's just yeah. so maybe if it had been a little more fantastical mm-hmm. a little more like the way the way it looks is a little more like a fairy tale somehow Yeah, then magic rope then revealing that magic rope is real would be fine. <laughs> exactly. But in this movie, it's like, they got fucking magic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rope? Magic rope. The rope's tied to their house and it's magic? <laughs> okay, I guess so. Yep, you just keep tying more rope to it. Uh, yeah, just yeah, just buy more and more keep, rope. Yeah, exactly. 
to start weaving it. <laughs> but we can't only talk about Never Let Go. No. We're going to talk about other things. In a little segment we like to call Pan Express Presents, express the mo- yourself about the movies you watched this week. <laughs> Play the theme song. It's time for the Panic Express. Boop, boop, because I got some things expressed. <laughs> Who wants to da, 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 da. Here's the problem. I cannot do it without saying express instead of express. We got some things to express. <laughs> express. Uh, every time lately, it's got some things to express. I go, no. Uh, to express. Things to express. Express. <laughs> express. Yeah, I can say express the second time, but the first oh, time. Oh, not the first time. It's time for the panda express. I, I just keep always. Express. Anyway. <laughs> Did you watch anything this week? Sadly, no. I'm on my. I'm on my not doing my pandas. I need to do my pandas. You don't have to, because I got a bunch. Yes. I watched, I rewatched Oddity, which you have oh, seen yes, class, and class. podcasted about with our friend Gary, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, friend of the show, past and future guest. Friend of the life. Um, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's a great movie. And I will be honest, I saw it in the theater and I was really fucking scared because it was really fucking scary. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw it like in a kind of pretty well lit room because it was like afternoon Mm -hmm. and sun was still coming through the windows and it was still really scary yeah which is it's hard to make a movie like that still work when it's like light out exactly you're just kind of in a room looking at the tv hanging out (laughs) and god it was so fucking scary i love it great movie yeah they did a a great job really good movie to see twice hmm there's lots of, I mean, obviously, after you see it the first time, you kind of go back through it in your head and you go, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> um, but it's nice to watch it and go, oh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, and now, notice it as it's going by. That's a movie watched, where, magic oh, is, where magic is works. You're like, okay, yes. I'm glad there's magic. Magic's real. <laughs> yeah. And they make it really scary. Yeah, it's like, ooh. Woodman is fucking scary as Woodman, hell. Woodman, scariest thing this year, I think. Best actor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not a part of the Academy, but whenever I am, <laughs> God damn it, that Woodman. Yes, give it to gonna him. going to get a, a Lifetime Achievement <laughs> Award. Academy of Wood winner. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that was a great that uh, the Academy of Wood, the best <laughs> Woodman, goes to <laughs> Woodman from, from Oddity. Oddity. <laughs> he just stayed there. He goes up to do his speech. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, I also saw. The Fly 2. Whoa. Starring sequel? Eric Stoltz. Whoa. The sequel to The, the Fly. Fly 1. <laughs> yeah. And um, it wasn't that good. <laughs> um, but it is occasionally, there's like a few really good effects. Okay. There's one where the fly creature vomits on a guy's face. <gasps> and he like, in his face... Like peels oh. off of his skull, skull, skull oh and you see like gosh. the meat in the. It's good. It's good. Wow, freaky. but mostly not that. So good. it's just the guy. Another guy's like, I'm gonna be a fly as well. Well, uh oh, it's his son. Oh, <gasps> what? Yeah. What? When they do like the fake dream at the end of the first one, uh huh, where she like thinks she's having a baby. The, yeah, wait, she also worm. is pregnant, I think, at the I think end. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's pregnant at the end. Well, it <laughs> begins with her giving birth to a creature. Mm-hmm. And then there's a baby inside of it. They like wow. peel they, they peel off this gross shit, and there's just a regular baby. <gasps> oh. But he grows fast. <laughs> and he turns into a <laughs> he turns into a regular sized man <laughs> by five years old. Wow. And he's Eric Stoltz. <gasps> Fly man. And so it's fine. Is it a different lady? Different, yes. Different okay, lady. I was wondering. I was uh, like, she, spoiler alert, doesn't make it. 
Yeah, it seemed like she would. Yeah, she would. She would. <laughs> um, I also watched The Substance. Yes, the, in I've theaters heard a lot now about this one. A, a splatter goo horror comedy movie mm-hmm. inspired by society <gasps> and a fucking Reanimator mm-hmm. and you know all those kinds of things. All of them. Um, and um, I liked it. I think. <laughs> you know, I'm still not entirely sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I liked it. Okay, okay. At the very least, I admired that there's a movie that disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just like a regular, you can just Wild. go to the movie theater by your house. Yeah, keep and hearing you can about see, it. Like a bunch of boobs. <laughs> uh huh. A bunch of butts. Mm hmm. And like a, a woman turned into a monster and, Whoa. you know. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff yeah <laughs> it's pretty cool i've heard the last like 30 minutes is out of control and i'm i'm tempted it gets really fun i can't decide i'm like i wonder if i like it or i'll be just like uh, i don't know i go I, back and forth on like sometimes i'm totally cool with it but sometimes i'm like oh too much i it i truly need to see it again <laughs> yeah um because it's kind of the first time i saw it Part of me really liked it, and then the other part it was kind of like every movie that inspired this movie was like eighty four minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and this is like two hours and twenty minutes. Man, we gotta. And I didn't know if it earned it. Maybe yeah. it did. Maybe I'll watch it the second time and I'll go, ah, oh, the just look at all the texture that you get yeah. writing that time. <laughs> that may be true. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I don't honestly. It's know. hard. It, it, for me to invest that much time sometimes. I'm like, you gotta really be a good movie. I mean, <laughs> to they gotta make long. every movie that length now. Yeah. Which is too bad. It is too bad. But it's especially weird when it's. We were talking before the show about a comedy that was like over mm, two hours. And yeah. That's oh, like God. Rarely a good idea. No. <laughs> but like splatter. Splatter horror. Mm-hmm. It's like, that is a notorious genre for being like 67 minutes long yeah because <laughs> usually once the splatter starts it's like well you can't slow down you gotta keep that's the about it going. yeah that's about it <laughs> yeah. um but it does it it's definitely cool okay so i'll i will i don't know if i can give it my wholehearted <laughs> uh five stars or yeah. something you know recommendation but it's it's wild. Okay. It's wild as fuck. Yeah. So if you want something that is wild as fuck, <laughs> head out to theaters now to see the substance. Brought to you Go by Budweiser. Out. Yes, and Bud Light. And Bud Light. <laughs> It'll make you feel inside the way that Budweiser makes you feel inside, but in a different part of your inside. Oh, okay. It'll make you feel sick. Sick. Very sick. Very I don't know what sick. we're watching next week. Some kind of movie. What about... What Bob? What's it called? Metropolis? No, not Metropolis. Oh yes, What's Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Yeah, we should I'll, watch that. I'll happily watch. It looks wild. I have no idea. I mean, how that it's movie's be, but... like twelve hours, right? Yeah, I think so. Hey, good. I'll watch it <laughs> in IMAX <gasps> this week only. I'm so bummed I don't have an IMAX anywhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tragic. I'll just go to the IMAX that's twelve minutes from. Yeah, my I know. House. <laughs> I think there is one technically 48 minutes for me, but I'm like, you motherfucker. 48 minutes to go see a movie? 48 minutes to see a nine hour movie? <laughs> yeah, then I gotta drive home 48 <laughs> minutes. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and try to find a fucking parking spot. And I gotta drive right up. And then I gotta do the tada, and then I gotta poop a dollar. I gotta poop a dollar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thanks so much for listening yes. to Mr. Poopadala. <laughs> Bye. We. Really enjoyed speaking to you about such varied topics as magic ropes mm-hmm. and pooping dollars. And pooping dollars. Uh, tweet at us at Food Court <laughs> Give us five stars on your favorite app, mm-hmm. whichever one it is. Write us a review. You can even ask a question on Spotify. Yes. I have no idea why you'd you do must. that. But go ahead and do it. Uh, and we love to hear from you. Mm. Let us know if you want us to watch Megalopolis. And on behalf of Mampy Hikes... I am Sean Parrott saying to you, bon appetit. <laughs>